Imagine you couldn't hear music, conversation or birdsong. And imagine you missed the doorbell, the phone and children's voices. Imagine you couldn't hear footsteps or the sound of approaching traffic. Not everybody has to imagine. Deafness caused by too much noise is still one of the most common causes of ill health in industry. For most people, the deafness caused by noise is gradual. It gets slowly worse as you keep on getting too much noise. Because it's gradual, you can be unaware of it until the problem is severe. Stop the noise or protect your ears properly and you can prevent this or at least stop any deafness you do have from getting worse. Some manufacturing processes may generate noise levels of 95 decibels or more. In the textiles industry, for example, processes such as weaving or worsted preparing can be particularly noisy. Similarly, production machinery in other industries such as engineering, woodworking, plastics and food and drink can also produce noise levels above 95 decibels. Because of the way decibels work, 95 decibels is 10 times higher than the 85 decibels at which hearing protection is recommended, and 3 times higher than the 90 decibel limit at which hearing protection becomes compulsory. This is what 95 decibels can do to your hearing when you work in it week after week without wearing hearing protection properly. Say you come into the job at 18 and you're fit and healthy. This is what it should sound like. Like this. You've no problems with your hearing. But after two years in the job, this is what the world sounds like to you now. Already you're going deaf, but you probably won't notice it yet. It's not so bad when you're having a chat in a quiet place, when only one person is talking to you. But go into a crowded place and already you're missing out on what your friends are saying to you. Remember, this is what it would be like if your ears weren't damaged. At the age of 40, this is what it would sound like. You miss what people say even when it's quiet because the sounds you miss the most with this type of deafness are the consonants in speech. It sounds all muffled. It's almost impossible if you go to a pub or a party or try to listen to your family over the sound of the television. By now you will know you are deaf, but it's not too late to stop it getting worse. This is what your hearing would be like if your ears weren't damaged. You may have had difficulty catching what I was saying then, because the sounds you miss the most with this type of deafness are the consonants in speech. It sounds all muffled. It's almost impossible if you go into a pub or a party or try to listen to your family over the sound of the television. By now you will know you are deaf, but it's not too late to stop it getting worse. By the age of 65, this is what you hear. You are very deaf, and now the deafness due to your age is making it worse. This is what your retirement party could sound like to you. It's no fun because you can't hear what they're saying. Even in the quiet of your own home, you miss so much. Your retirement's too quiet. I'll repeat that. By the age of 65, you are very deaf, and now the deafness due to your age is making it worse. That was what your retirement party could sound like to you. It's no fun because you can't hear what anybody is saying. And even in the quiet of your own home, you are going to miss so much. It's too quiet. By the age of 65, even a person not exposed to loud noise at work will suffer some deafness due to age. But as you can hear, it's nothing like as bad as the deafness due to too much noise. And deafness may not be your only problem. Noise can cause tinnitus too, a ringing or buzzing or rumbling in your ears that you hear when it's quiet like when you're trying to go to sleep. So make sure you don't damage your hearing. If it can't be kept quiet where you work, make sure you protect your hearing with protectors that fit properly. Deafness from too much noise is incurable. 
Imagine what it would be like, but don't let it happen to you.